If you are visiting Mexico City, you probably heard this city has really, really good street food, but we also have very good restaurants. So on this video, I'm going to do my best and try to nail it down to 15 restaurants. These are my favorite 15 restaurants in the city. Now, this is not an official countdown, but I am originally from Mexico City. I grew up here. I've been living here for over 30 years. So I can assure you that this list is pretty accurate. These are my all time favorite restaurants. Every time I have someone visiting Mexico City, I always try to bring them to any of these restaurants so i hope you find this video helpful if you are visiting mexico city uh, you are going to love the food so let's get started and i hope you enjoy this video Number 15, Rosa Negra. This restaurant is located in Polanco, one of the poshest neighborhoods in the city, and it serves Mexican food in a very creative and fun way. I like the presentation of the food. The restaurant is a little bit expensive though. You can expect to spend here from 500 pesos to 600 pesos per person, but it's definitely worth it and it's currently a very popular restaurant in the city. Number 14, Blanco Castellar. This restaurant is also located in Polanco in front of a park called Parque Lincoln. And I love this restaurant. The only reason why this restaurant is in the 14th spot is because the service wasn't that good. Uh, when I went there, it was pretty busy, so it was really slow. But I loved their food. Oh my God, it's so delicious. They have very good desserts. Uh, in total, you can expect to spend here from 600 pesos to 1,000 pesos. Obviously, depends on what you order. Number 13, El Japonés. This restaurant specializes in Japanese food. However, I don't think it's very authentic. It's more like Mexican Japanese. They have a few branches in the city, so they have one in Condesa and they have one in Polanco. I really love this restaurant. They have the best lychee martini in the city. Ah, you have to try it. It's so delicious. Uh, they also have this sushi cake that I love. And this sushi that... Ah, wow, it's amazing. You have to try it. It's called Rollo Carolito. And in total, in this restaurant, you can expect to spend 400 pesos to 600 pesos without drinks. And again, depends what you order number 12 los danzantes this restaurant is located in the south of the city in a place called coyoacan so you probably visit that place the museum of frida Kahlo is located there so you should definitely check this place out once you finish uh, visiting that area it serves Mexican food in a very fun and beautiful way. And by the way, they also have a branch in Oaxaca, Oaxaca City. I made a video about the city as well. So if you want to check that out, I will leave the link below. In total, you can expect to spend here around 350 to 400 pesos. Number 11, Tokyo. This restaurant is located in Zona Rosa. This is probably the only place I know in Mexico City that serves authentic Japanese food. And it's so, so incredible. I come here very, very often. I come here at least once a month. Honestly, I love this restaurant. They have amazing curry. So you should definitely check this place out. Also, it's pretty cheap. You can eat for 150 pesos to 200 pesos. Number 10. Estufa. This restaurant is located in Santa Fe, which is pretty far away from Santa Rosa, but an area definitely worth visiting. Now, this restaurant serves, in my opinion, the best Italian food in the city. Every time you go there, you will have fresh bread and they have the best pasta a la bolognese in the city. Oh my god, it's so, so good. 
every time I go there I try that one and yeah I'm telling you that pasta it's really really amazing <laughs> In total, you can expect to spend here from 250 pesos to 300 pesos. Number 9. Balta. This restaurant is located in a hotel called Sofitel, which is a very nice hotel in Reforma Avenue. I'm telling you, this restaurant has amazing food. I recommend the shrimp tacos, they are incredible. In total, you can expect to spend here from 400 pesos to 600 pesos. So as you can see the food not only tastes good but also looks very nice. I also love this place because upstairs there is a very nice bar called Citizen Bar which has one of the best views of Mexico City. You can see Mexico City in all its glory so definitely a place worth visiting. Number 8 Puerto Madero This restaurant specializes in Argentinian food and if you like seafood or steaks you will definitely love this place. Uh, this is a very, very nice restaurant located in Polanco in an avenue called Masaryk Avenue. This place has the best burger in this city. Oh my God, it's so, so good. It's very juicy. It has so much flavor. It also has the best cheesecake I've tried in Mexico City. Oh my God, seriously. You have to try it. Uh, in total, you can expect to spend here around 500 to 600 pesos per person. Number 7. Mandolina. This restaurant is also located in Polanco in a street called Emilio Castellar. And I love the decoration of this restaurant, it's an ideal place for a date, uh, it's very romantic, also the presentation of the dishes is very very good. The food is very fresh, full of flavor, I love their burger, uh, they have very nice margaritas and amazing desserts. So definitely if you are in the area, I highly highly recommend this restaurant. Number 6, Parole. This restaurant specializes in Italian food and it's a very nice place to go if you want to have a very romantic date. The presentation of the food and the drinks, it's very very creative and fun and they have very very delicious food. They actually have this pasta which is like one of the main dishes of this restaurant and it's one of the most delicious pastas I've ever tried in Mexico. It has shrimps, it's so so delicious. If you are in Polanco, go there, you are going to like it. Alright guys, so now I am in Maque, one of my favorite bakeries here in Condesa. I come here very often. It's also a restaurant, so if you want to eat here, you can do so as well. Yeah, the food here is very good. They have a very authentic Mexican uh, food. So I would say if you want to have like a Mexican typical breakfast, this is one of the best places to come in Condesa. It's very delicious. It feels like your grandma made it. Uh, it's very nice. I really like it. So today I came and I ordered uh, chocolate, chocolate con leche, and it's actually pretty big. Anything you try here doesn't matter what you order. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> and I also ordered one of my favorite uh, breads here. They actually are, in my opinion, the best bakery in the city. They have amazing bread, and this is one of my favorites. Uh, it's called Panque de Lote. I'm telling you, this bread. Mm. 
Yeah, I've been here so many times, I lost count. I literally come here at least once a month. They also have very nice cakes here. So usually when it's my birthday or someone's birthday in my family, I come here and I buy the pastel de cajeta. That cake is amazing. Definitely, if you are a Condesa, give it a go. I recommend it a lot. Uh, it's one of my favorite places here. Number four, Azul Historico. This restaurant is located in the historic center of Mexico City and every time I have someone visit me in Mexico I always bring them here because this restaurant has very nice authentic Mexican food if you wanna try enchiladas de mole, sopa de tortillas definitely come here because you are gonna love it as much as I do Number 3 Madre Café this restaurant is located in La Colonia Roma, which is one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in Mexico City and oh my god, where do I start? This restaurant has amazing food, uh, very nice presentation, very good quality, the ingredients, they have the best waffles in the city, oh my god, I highly, highly recommend this place, everything you order there is gonna be delicious. It's always full so you either should go very early or just make a reservation because yeah, this place is very, very popular. Number 2, Pujol. You probably heard about this restaurant. This restaurant is currently ranked as the best restaurant in Mexico and the 14th best restaurant in the world. Now, if you are interested in knowing a little bit more about this restaurant, I actually made an entire video, so I will link the link below. This is also the most expensive restaurant on this list. In total, you can expect to spend from 3,000 pesos to 4,000 pesos per person, but it's definitely worth it. It's an experience and something that I highly recommend and that you go here because you are going to love it. Number one, Blanco Colima. <gasps> wow, okay, this restaurant has a special place in my heart. It's definitely my favorite restaurant in Mexico City, without a doubt. You can expect to have an epic meal. I don't know how else to describe uh, this food. It's just absolutely epic. Anything you order there is going to be incredible. They have a very nice menu. They change it constantly. So probably what you see on this video, you are not going to find when you go there. But believe me, they have incredible food. The best desserts in the city, I think. They are very creative and so incredibly delicious. Every time I have someone visit me in Mexico or have a special location, I always come here. If it's my birthday, I'm probably going to be here. Yeah, this restaurant, believe me, it's the best restaurant I can recommend you in Mexico City. If you come here, please go, you are going to love it. Alright guys, if you made it this far, we are finished. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions, leave it down below in the comments. So I will see you guys on my next video. Take care and stay healthy.